All right, guys, we're back, and we have a match now starting from the one-loss side. Roger Bordley and Frank Moreno. Uh, Frank from California. Roger, Las Vegas. Uh, no, it Roger says from uh, where? Vermont. Oh, I'm looking at his name Roger's card. from Vermont. That's right. He's or played Utah. this. He's I can't tell whether, it, yeah, I think that's Utah. Uh, it's hard to see from yeah, where we're it's at. Really it's hard, hard to, to see, see the name cards. <laughs> or I'm getting older and my vision's getting worse, which, knowing my luck, is probably the case. Maybe someone from Vermont or Utah is watching. Yeah. <laughs> because they can let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Happy St. Paddy's Day, everybody. This is Daniel Bush from the Rum Runner. It is the 28th annual uh, Andy Mercer Nine Ball Classic event. And I know uh, Billy talked about in the comments, the girl in the green shirt is stroking like a guy. That is Christina Gonzalez. <laughs> she is a local Las Vegas player. Um, she will be playing, I'm pretty sure she'll be playing in the charity event next weekend. And uh, we just got done watching Mitch Elliman versus Tyler Steyer, and that was a Hill Hill match. And ending, uh, in a, ending in a win for uh, Mitch Ellerman. And Lance broke and is in the process of running out. He just made a great shot to get from the three to the four. He's got, what, six balls left to uh, send Ernesto to the loser side. And that would... That would represent a slight upset. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely not the favorite in that match. And, you know, when you asked me earlier who I would who I would say to win, Ernesto was one of my... One of my three. Right, that's true. But if true. he happens we to lose this that. match, I have no yeah. doubt in my mind and that he could still very easily make it to Sunday and give some people a run for their money. Well, one thing's for sure. I mean, also our Oscar Dominguez, uh, defending champion yep. uh, for this event. He was knocked to the one-loss side last night by Warren Kiamko. Ah, yeah. So, uh, and this is one of those tournaments where there's really no penalty for going to the loser side. The no, race is the same. No. Mm -hmm. The format's the same. You're not losing any games on the loser side. It's still a race to six, alternate break. So, you know, it's just a, um, they're a little bit more hungry. <laughs> Don't talk about food, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things about Rum is you always have something good to choose from. And uh, I know you meant, it uh, looks like Lance is in trouble. I think he's just going to cut the seven and come straight back across. Oh, wow, he slow rolled that ball. Yeah, he should be fine. He's just got to miss the scratch in the, si in the opposite side to try to get back to the nine ball. Or he could go forward and go two rails around. Looks like he's going to go forward. Yep. Lance is running out, isn't he? Left himself perfect for the nine, and he is going to send Ernesto to the loser side. Ernesto's not giving him the shot. He says, you can shoot it. And that's and that it. Is it. Wow, Lance. The giant killer, always, Salazar. <laughs> always like to see the, the locals come through. And, and Lance plays well. So excited to see what he does in the next round. So we are now going into the one loss side matches. I know somebody mentioned that in the comments. We are now done with the winner side for this morning. They run two rounds of it. They have eight winner side matches. The rest of the winners will play tomorrow. Those players that won this morning have earned themselves a spot in the money. Mm -hmm. They are not into the Calcutta money yet, but they are in the money. Um, and they will come back tomorrow. And they will be some of the first matches tomorrow morning. So an update on what we have going on. We're going to have Ronnie Alcano versus Chris Thomas. Jason Weir versus Christina Gonzalez. Ryan DeBerg, a local, versus Tom Sampson, who's mm -hmm. also a local. And then we have on the feature table Roger Bordley versus Frank Moreno. And some of them have started, but we are still scoreless. So we will let you know what's going on with those as those matches progress. All right, so Frank's got a uh, ball in hand here, and looks like he's playing the combo. Always got to be careful with these combos. He's hitting it with some speed, and both balls go in. Do you think he played it like that? You know, I didn't even see it. I was looking at the other tables. I'm sorry. So I yeah. didn't even didn't even see it happen. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Though. Oh no, that's okay. I was just kind of <laughs> seeing who was in the room and who was getting to what table and what tables are getting started. Yeah, I know. I mean, this room's getting packed. It's a. It's not a. I mean, it is a big bar when you when you think about it. They fit. 
you know, seven tables in here. Plus they have a full restaurant. It's a very nice place. If you're in Las Vegas, definitely stop down, have a couple of drinks, come say hi to, to uh, Daniel and I in the booth, come watch some amazing matches. And have except some food. For, except for Ryan's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Poor buddy. guy. My buddy, Ryan Poor DeBerg, guy. strafes the table. Yeah. And, uh, and he walks on to table two where he's starting his match. But you know what? You know, Tom Sampson is also a local player that's kind of moved away and come back. Um, either one of those players could win. There, there really isn't a favorite in that match, I don't think. And as I looked away, this game is over. Do you, do you happen to see who made the nine? I did not. All right, let's see where the bead moves. It's alternate breaks. Very hard to tell who's the winner it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. So, and Frank hasn't moved any beads. Neither has Ro Roger. Yeah, I have a feeling that if Roger won, he would have marked it before he sat down. So I'm going to guess that Frank's the one that won that game, which means he won on his break. So nobody's broken anybody's serve yet, and it should be Roger's break. Yeah. Yep, and I have a feeling, yep, Frank yep, won that go. first game. My All powers right. of deduction were correct. So much power. Huh. If only it were worth something. <laughs> so let's see what happened with that break. He made a ball. He's got a shot at the one. Nothing's tied up. Nothing, uh, well, four to the five. A little weird, but nothing that I don't think he can handle. Ronnie Alcano won his first game against local via Hawaii, Chris Thomas. I know he was watching all weekend last weekend on the stream because his twin brother was playing in the Dock Hill. Mm -hmm. So we had, we had him on our stream all last weekend. I know he's excited to be here in person and not have to watch from a computer screen. Lance Salazar is also from California. He's a former junior nationals winner. Yep, he's lived here for a couple of years though. He's Thank been, you, Marcelino. He's been here for a while. Buddy Marcelino, I hope to see you at the Stone here, my friend. And there's a lot of transplants from California here. I'm a transplant from California. Yeah, you are. There's That's quite right. a few, yep. What part of California are you from again? San Bernardino, Upland, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Riverside. Okay. Yep. That's where Geraldine's from, Riverside. Yep. Played at Shooters and um, used to play at, uh, I lived in Victorville for a while, so playing at Victor Billiards. Oh, Gary's, yeah. That's where I really started playing pool was at Gary's. All right, so Roger. He, he left himself uh, in a pickle. Well, he's on the five. Oh, that's the four ball. That's the yeah. four, yeah. He's on the yeah, four. He's hooked. He's definitely hooked. Yeah, and it's not an easy ball to get to because you have the seven in the way. You got the five in the way. You know what I would do? Huh. See the five is in the way? Yeah. I would just hit the nine in front of the four. Yeah, make it tough to, to do anything with. Yeah. Yep. That's what I would do. Yep. Put the nine between the five and the four. He's it looks to like kick he's going to try to kick it and maybe leave the cue ball behind the nine and try not to scratch yeah. off of the back of the four. Yeah, he might get a hit. He got yeah. a hit. Okay, so that was all I right. I don't know if that was a good hit or not, though. We'll see. I don't think it was a frozen ball. Yeah. Hard to tell from how far back. But see, that's the thing. It's hard for us to decide what shot to, to do either, yeah. too, because we're not at the table there. We don't have an exact, yep. you know, we don't have the player's perspective. So looks like he's going to try to leave the cue ball behind the nine. Yeah, another basically the same shot. Yeah, that's not bad. I think he I think he hit it. I think it's definitely about time to order some food though. <sighs> now can he come rail first maybe and tickle that four? Yeah. And then that would be an automatic safety. The four would, you know, just kind of slide behind the five. Yeah. He's looking at that, you know, he would have to maybe masse a little or I don't know. He's looking at it like it's like it's not easy, and I agree. I don't think it's going to be an easy ball to hit. We're live from the Rum Runner. Rum Runner in Paradise, Nevada. Come on down. See the best pool of your life.
that's kind of why I like putting the uh, the four in front of the nine earlier. Yeah. Just because it uh, it takes away the safety battle. And look, he as you can see, Rogers. Yeah, he didn't get there at all. But now there's still no shot. No. Is there a three foul rule? Uh, I don't believe so. I know there wasn't last weekend. Ah, uh, okay. This is Daniel. I'm sitting here with Stacy Alsup. We're taking questions hmm. <laughs> in the chat room if you guys want. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Christina won the first game. So Christina is up one nothing yep, over Jason Weir from California. From from Palm Springs. Is he forfeited? Oh, Jason Weir forfeited? Oh, so okay, so Jason Weir isn't here yet, so oh. he's lost his first game because he's not here yet. Ah. He will lose one more game and then after that he will forfeit the match. That's how they do it, right? Yeah. Like, like one game. I think every the first five fifteen minutes, minutes is if you're not there in 15 minutes, it's one game, and then another game in five minutes, and I think after that, they just forfeit. So, Christina taking the opportunity to practice her break. She is definitely a student of the game. She practices more than anybody I know besides maybe Shane. And uh, Ronnie is up 2 nothing over Chris Thomas. Left Chris is safe, Chris missed. Ronnie now has ball in hand. I think I have a feeling where that's gonna go and still no score yet. Ryan and Tom have not started because Tom is also not here. Is he MIA? He is MIA, so Ryan has now won his first game Woo. due to forfeit. So we may only have two matches to watch, folks. Uh, it's definitely not something that I like seeing, especially with as big as this tournament is, why would anybody not show up for their next match? Um, it's something that they have, um, removed people for. They have banned players from coming back. If you don't come back for your second match, you will not play again the next year. Or really? ever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because there's a player's auction. Because there's people that Yes, that's true. That, that that's paid true. to people invested. to watch you yeah. play. Yeah, it's not just you. And you know, it's only sixty four players. It's only once a year and they want players that are coming to play it out. <laughs> that is that is um sorry we just had a little yeah uh, i had to ask a question you know every once in a while they they make exceptions for that daniel reminded me but uh <laughs> yeah i have seen i have seen other players that were not allowed back um we had two in in one year four or five years ago yeah so what is happening? Yeah. Frank Moreno is at the table. Yep. Scores one to one. Looks like. Okay, so hey, thank you very much. They've called that match now between uh, Jason Weir and Christina Gonzalez. Yeah. Christina Gonzalez will win by default. Yeah. Win by forfeit. And funny story about the next match that's going to be up on this table. It's going to be Andy Hughes versus Derek Lorcher. And where's and Andy? Um, he's here, I'm sure. And their match isn't scheduled to start for a while. It's not, a w it's not until, um, I think it's a 1.30 match. Okay. Um, but uh, Andy and Derek, I believe they agreed on a bet that whoever Gets went farther through. in the tournament, the other player had to donate money to the charity event. Oh, that's um, so cool. And that if they played each other, if they happened to play each other, then they would also put an additional wager on the loser having to put more money to the event. Nice. So, so there is a side bet on this match for sure, with the loser having to donate three or four hundred dollars, I think, to the to the charity. That's cool. For next That's week. really so cool. I like that. Um, yeah, and I know Andy it's also wounded has warriors a match. This year, yes, right? wounded warrior project. Andy also has a match with. Mary, who won the Doc Hill, okay, uh, for three hundred, yeah, and they're playing the night of the women's player auction, and the winner is going to donate the three hundred to the charity as well. Wow. So, using the competition for a good cause. That's great. That's good, awesome. It's good. To, it's good to see. So, hopefully, we have another successful year. It's the the ninth year, and 
we're looking to we always look to make it the best year yet you know you always want to top the years previous and last year we made almost 10,000 so well, that's what I that's what I like about uh, you know I mean the tournaments here at the Rum Runner and uh, also Katie Moore and all yep. the work she does yep it's just amazing you yep know. Uh, you guys definitely seem to outdo yourselves every year yeah we have we've we've beat the number every year which always puts you know it always puts the pressure on but at the same time we have an amazing community that really comes out to support mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of ladies that travel from Arizona and Colorado and Washington and mm -hmm. all over the country mm -hmm, really mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to come play so it's it's good to see so Frank left himself tough on the six ball I don't know if you can see the whole ball he may be trying to cross bank it but the winner of this game will take the lead because the score is right now one to one so update on Ronnie Alcano, Chris Thomas. Ronnie is up three to nothing and running out. Not a surprise there. Cross bank. Yep, missed it. Almost made the seven in on accident, but left it right in front of the hole. So <laughs> That's Ronnie Alcano all the way back in that yellow shirt, by the way. Yep, he's tough to miss. And if Roger can find a way to make this six ball, he should be out. Swing and a miss. He's going to give it back to Frank. Wow. I didn't expect that miss. Well, you know, he's a little bit, yeah. His cue ball was against the rail a little. Yep. Those shots can be a little difficult sometimes with a little bit of distance. You know? I definitely spent a lot of time practicing those when I was first learning the game because yeah. I seemed to leave myself on the rail so much I figured <laughs> I better learn this shit. You know, <laughs> I, I, those shots are all about your backhand yep. and uh, your follow through on the cue. You got to yep. kind of let the cue do the work on those shots yep. and not follow through too much. Yeah, you try to use too much and you end up coming over the top of the ball and missing, you yeah. know, yeah. a lot of times. <laughs> I've ended up miscuing on those shots and not even hitting. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, he's oh probably going to try no. to kick this one in the side. That's what I'd do, and that's what he's looking at is how he can kick that eight in the side and stay at the table. Well, that'll be nice. Let's just see if he's going to kick short side or the opposite way. I like the opposite way. I like the long yeah. kick because uh, if you miss, you have a better chance of getting a safe cue ball or I leaving like a I long shot. I feel like <laughs> I have more accuracy with the longer really kick as do. well. Yeah. yeah, I feel like when, when the angle is so sharp for me, it's harder to be accurate. But well, he's disagreeing with you, I guess. Yeah, he, he went short rail and he, he left it dead straight in. Looks, looks like Christmas comes early for Roger Bordley. Yeah. And this would put him in the lead. And it was uh, Frank's break to start the match. So if it goes hill hill, Frank will have the last break. Ronnie is four to nothing on Chris Thomas and still running out. So I think Chris is um, pretty much a spectator match <laughs> against Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. um, Just don't break dry, buddy. <laughs> but I'm sure he's still enjoying it, you know, and I've had the pleasure of playing a lot of great players when playing in this tournament. Question from Billy Chang. Is this a winner's match? No. no. This is a one loss side match. Yep. This is the one loss side we're watching. Second question. How tough is a bar tournament when you lose the first round to a Moscone Cup player and get Ronnie Alcano in your next match? Plenty on tough. On the one loss side. It's it all uh, depends on how <laughs> hungover Ronnie Al Al Alcano is, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So an update on what we have left in the winner side. So tomorrow, you will see Shane Van Boning versus Ronnie Allen, Warren Kiemko. No, never mind. They have not updated those brackets yet. I'll let you know once we actually get updated brackets online because right now they are not because Shane won against Ronnie and Warren won against King. So tomorrow we'll have Shane versus King. <laughs> We will also have... No, Shane versus Warren. Or Shane versus Warren. Yeah. And then it'll be uh, Ace Brown versus Brian Parks. Yeah. Uh, and then it'll Dave. It'll be Dave Dottillo versus Sal Butera. Yep. And it'll be Mitch Ellerman versus Lance Salazar. And it looks like Amy Kane is probably already working to... Update. Uh, update because the Mitch and Lance match is already posted. Yep. 
And those are matches that will take place tomorrow. We're doing all one loss today. Yep. Yeah, the first two rounds were winner side, so now we're on to the B-side matches. And again, we had a forfeit. Jason Weir didn't show up, so Christina Gonzalez won that match. Tom Sampson also didn't show up, so Ryan DeBerg won that match. Ronnie is up now five to nothing over Chris Thomas and Roger and Frank. Roger is up two to one. Next two tables will have Derek Lorcher, Andy Hughes, and then Mike Hutchinson versus Joseph Pugnale. All right, guys, I am going to step away for a second to get some scores. I will be right back. Stand by, guys. Enjoy this match. I'll be right with you.
actually what I could do. See, my, I don't know, my system keeps crashing, but I can actually take a web, web page and yeah. put it on the screen. Yeah. And we can actually take all of that, you know, even yeah, we don't cool. even need the picture. But let me see, watch. Let me hope and pray. All right, guys, I am back now. Wanted to go give the person that's updating the brackets all of these scores so that we can get the brackets updated for you guys. So those should be updated shortly. So if you go to League Pool Stats, you will find the right matches. Yep, he just updated him. No, I can put it on the screen is what I'm saying. Oh, nice. And so then what that also means is that, like, I can take this. Yeah. Uh, I think I have past winners posted. No, I don't. Hold on. Oh, I know, I know. Right? I was just saying the same thing. So are we have, live right now? I have a press. Yeah, we are okay. live. Okay, all right. Oh, nice. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't put past winners on it? Well, you have that. Oh, okay. So I would just come here and put it in the middle. Daniel is teaching me all of his magic ways. So Ryan DeBerg, how's it feel to win that match? Yes, Ryan DeBerg wins by default. Yeah, Ryan and Christina both. Let's let's check in. Let's check in real quick with Ryan DeBerg. Ryan, how you doing, man? Doing great. <laughs> doing great. So feeling like a million bucks. Oh, hold on, we got reverb on you for some reason. So when do you play again? I don't know yet. And. Um, you know, how do you feel, man? You, you just uh, actually... A little let down. You've played the Mercer, I think, three years in a row, right? Uh, I've played three years total. I don't think they were consecutive. And you've won a match each year? I believe that's correct. Okay. Is this the, right. now the second match that you've won? Does this count? Yes. Well, it's still a W. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> three tries, three at-bats, and, and you won three matches. So correct. now now you just got to win another one this year to beat your previous best, well, you know? Well, better watch out then. Yes. How'd you do how'd you do uh, last year in the in the or did you play the Dock Hill? Can't remember. Yes. What what one's <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. We're we're giving uh we're giving Ryan a hard time. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Poor guy always gets the toughest roles in tournaments. We hope you're sticking around later tonight because, uh, you know, we're going to see if we can put some action together. A little after dark. Is that the parade? Mm -hmm. yeah. A little after dark. A little, a little after dark, yes. exactly. A little POV, POV after dark. POV after dark. Years. Bring back memories. Yeah. Are we going to get uh, Jimmy in to commentate anything? Oh, he's coming tonight, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, he is. Well. It's too bad we can't get Melinda Wang here, you know. We can put oh, her in yeah. the box with Stacy and, yep. and just commentate their match. Oh, oh. yeah. I mean, yeah. That was, the, that was the night I first met you. I came down when they were playing. Yes, that's true. To have Jimmy yep. Mattia sign my jump cue. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that and that jump cue was won by Mike Ayers in Montana, who I I ended up meeting like three months later. So a quick update: the brackets are now fully updated. All right, we're um, done. We're done. We're done with Brian. Uh, Give me that mic. <laughs> <laughs> the brackets are fully updated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we only have one match going on right now because of the two forfeits and because Ronnie Alcano won six nothing so quickly. So right now we have Frank up three to two over Roger. Frank is shooting, and if Frank wins this game, it'll be his break. 
And again, these are all B-side matches. We will get back to winner side matches tomorrow morning. We will have, I believe, one round of winners and then two rounds of B-side matches and another round of winners. And that'll be kind of the schedule for tomorrow. This tournament stays quite a bit closer to on time than the Dock Hill does. I know the Dock Hill, we were here until um, about two o'clock Friday night and Saturday night. Sunday usually runs on time though. So you'll see some players practicing on the other tables, but none of those matches have started yet. So you got Mike Hutchinson, who you can see in the background, local Las Vegas player playing Joseph Krugnow, uh, who is, looks like also a local player, also from Nevada. And then we're gonna have Joey Chin versus Grant Gilbert. Joey from California, Grant local player. And then again, we already talked about Derek and Andy and the, the side bet they have going on for charity. My bad, folks. It looks like three, uh, three to two, Frank Moreno already in the lead. I hadn't updated the score there. And Frank just played a nice little bank on the three. He's back cutting at this four ball. A little bit of distance here. It goes. Yeah, perfect shape on the five. Looks fairly easy from here. I think he's swinging around three rails. It looks like it, yeah, to get shape on the eight in the side. He definitely left himself the angle that he needed. You well definitely don't want to be on the opposite side of the eight. You don't want to be on the wrong side of the eight in that, situa in that situation. I don't know, he's gonna have to hit this slow. Yep. And it's not. Uh, that's, you much. know, it's makeable. It should be all right. It's it a lot easier right. for a lefty than it is for a righty, that's for sure. I mean, I know I don't mind that shot because it's easy for me to get on it. It's, this is missable, though. Looks it's like he's just going to switch to lefty. Yeah, he did, didn't I he? wish I had that ability. I can't even hit a ball right-handed. Uh -oh. and, and did not. Uh -oh. He left it tough. Roger's he going to have a bank yeah. or he's going to play safe. He played the safety I banked, instead. I banked that ball all day long, but I'm also, uh, <laughs> as we've discussed, not a pro. Or you just got heart, like Mitch Ellerman. Yeah, just heart. Just it's all about swing the heart. at it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right. Well, Roger is going to play this bank. I can, I can see him. Mm -hmm. I can see him psychologically. He's you know, looking at it. He's, he's zoned in. Bearing down. Yeah. In a way, that's what you got to do. You yeah. got to, you got to play this shot. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, he's down three to two. So, and it's. Frank's break next, so you got to have a decision to make because if you miss it, again, it's that that um, he missed it. <laughs> but did he he missed it that bad, huh? He did, he did, and now Frank's going to have a cross bank, and he's already tried a cross bank once, so I don't I don't see why he wouldn't try it again. That one's a pretty routine cross bank. Look at this Badger Cafe menu. Yes, yeah, they updated it. They have new I'm menus now. And the cross bank is on. And Banks now it's going to be his break. So it's four to two. Frank Moreno leads. Roger Bordley. So now we have Frank breaking. If he wins this, it puts him. No, Roger won that. So the score is now three to three. Three to three with Frank's break. 
I want to give a shout out to Ben Sutherland. Hope, hope to see you here a little later today. He's keeping the brackets updated for us. Yeah, so. he's a good man. That's why I had to leave, go give him the score so that he could do that. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It's actually three to three. Uh, I, I guess Frank Moreno did not make that bank. Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he did too. That's because we didn't look. <laughs> yeah, well, forgive me. I was I was looking at the menu. I needed to uh, yeah. take some of my own advice and get some of the food. I like Frank's bridge. He's got, but it's very long. His it is. He's got a long bridge, but you know, that's just one particular shot. Yeah, he was kind of over the seven ball a little bit. Yeah. It's still real Even long there, it's pretty here, long, yeah. yeah. You can shorten your bridge here. And that was one thing that Robert LeBlanc taught me. You know, use a short, when you're playing on a bar table, yeah. short bridge is, you have more control. is the way to go, you know. And you don't hit it as hard when you use a short bridge. And the chat let us know he did make hey. that nine ball, but he scratched, so. <laughs> well, Frank's doing okay. He's, uh, he should be all right. Sean Lane just came by and said hi. Always good to see him. He's one of those people that's here supporting every year. Yeah, and if it wasn't for Sean Lane, I'd have never streamed this event. He was the one for two years yep. telling me, you gotta go stream the Rum Runner, man. Yeah, And um, so thank you to, to Sean for yeah. bugging you until you finally came out. Yeah. And then once you came out, you fell in love and you've been back almost every year since. Almost, yeah. It's. Uh, it's a lot of fun being here and doing this. It is. It is. It's a great tournament. It's a great event. Rum Runner is a great host. They take care of everybody every year. Yep. Gino, Gordy. Gino literally brings his RV into the parking lot so that he can be here to make sure everything goes the way he That's wants true. it to. For you three know? weeks. He lives yeah. here for three weeks. Yep. Yep. And then you got the staff here, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're amazing. Derek and um, Darren Domingo, Tara, yep. Shannon. Yep. And then you know. Gino. And the twins. There's a lot of a lot of great people here. So Frank didn't leave himself a really easy. I mean, it, it's makeable, but it's not the shot that you want on the nine ball. And if he wins this, he takes over the lead, four to three. Nice cut. And he did, and he that did better than he did cut. on that last nine ball. So now he's up four to three, and it'll be Roger's break. So he's going to go straight to racking. And he shot that better than I could. I mean, uh, if I'd have shot that shot, it would have taken me probably 10 seconds longer. And I know we do have some of these matches starting. I know Joey and Grant just, uh, just decided the break on their match. Grant's going to get the first break in that. That'll get started shortly. We'll let you know scores once those matches get up and going. They never have a problem with people uh, <laughs> starting their matches early because they can tend to run a little bit later. Billy says he's uh, he thinks Frank's going to win by two. It may be by three if you know if he can run this out. Roger did make a ball. Shot on the one's tough, but it's natural shape for the two if you don't get tied up with the three ball. Do we know when Shane and Warren play? Yeah, they tomorrow. play tomorrow. Tomorrow. Noon, uh, I believe. It's on the bracket. Should be. It should be on the bracket, actually. Hold on. I don't think they check. have the time on the bracket there, but I know that they've run the first four matches tomorrow the first four tables yeah. played will be winter side and they'll be at noon and then the next round which is at 1245 so from 11 or from 12 to 1245 tomorrow you will have winter side matches you'll have shane versus warren uh you will also have let me scroll down here a little bit you also have ace brown versus brian parks and then dave Vitello versus sal Butera, and mitch ellerman versus lance salazar that'll be tomorrow's lineup at noon and as soon as this game's over, I'll actually show you the bracket. Yep. 
and Roger now has a little bit of a tough shot on the four, but again, he has a natural angle. He's standing on the right side of the ball. He has a natural angle to get back on the six as long as he doesn't scratch. He is on the rail, though. He's just gonna shoot this with some outside to come back across the table. Should be pretty routine as long as he makes it. He hit it a little bit hard. He's got a funny angle on the six. Everybody seems to be shooting things a little bit hard and getting getting some odd Too angles. Too much speed. Yeah. I don't think this table plays really fast. I just no. think that. Uh, Over stroking yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's. I wonder if these, it makes me wonder, like, are they big table players? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, in this environment. You see um, that a lot. You know, they definitely do a great job of turning a small area into a good tournament area, mm -hmm. but the tables are surrounded. Mm -hmm. You know, you have people from every angle. The bar is packed. So, you know, it's a little bit of added pressure. It really is because everybody's such close quarters. Mm -hmm. Everybody's watching everything you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even if you're from, you know, familiar with the bar, familiar with the, the format, it still can add a little bit of extra pressure rather than everybody watch you. That is true. Definitely. And I it don't know what's going on here. Break I know, time? I was, I was nervous. No, Roger just uh, took, took a little break. I think he went and took a drink, and now he's back. I know playing Shane, I was, I was pretty nervous playing Shane on the stream table, you know. When was that? That was, what, two years ago? You I streamed it, yeah. You played the Mercer? I had the Mohawk. Two years ago? with yep. the Oh, that's right, yep. yeah. Yep, that was when I had the mohawk. No mohawk today. Oh, no. Oh, he made it, broke out the eight, or he missed, missed it, it and broke, broke out, out the eight. eight. Yeah. So. Well, Frank's got to come from the seven to the eight here. Yeah. So let's see what, let's see if he can pull that off. Yep. And if he does. He'll be uh, on the hill. Billy's prediction will be a little bit closer to coming true, and he will put himself on the hill. Billy predicted Frank was going to win by two, so. Billy Chang in the chat room? Yep. You're welcome, Sean. It's always a pleasure to, to come support. If Daniel's going to make the time to come out here, I'm going to make the time to oh, keep you guys updated. Too sweet, too sweet. For sure. Which reminds me, I wanted to ask you, where's Jason Osborne? Are you um, guys still li living at the same? We broke up in June. Okay. Uh, still friends. He hasn't been around. I've, I heard he's working a lot. Okay. So, okay. yeah, he hasn't. I think he was only here one night for the doc. So we may see him. We'll see what happens. Frank did win that game. Frank is now on the hill against Roger Borley, and it is Frank's break. So everything is set up for Frank to win this game if he has a good break. We'll see what happens. And then meanwhile, as promised, I just wanted to quickly show you uh, this bracket, which is available at Lead Stats Online. Whoopsie. Okay, here we go. There you go. There's the bracket. So, yeah, it's the Andy Mercer bracket. You have to forgive me. I've just basically done a screen capture of our uh, of our uh, browser. You got Shane Van Boning and Warren Kiamko tomorrow. Ace Brown, Brian Parks. Great bracket by League Pool Stats. Yep. So uh, you can go to leaguepoolstats.com. You can check out the bracket there. Yeah, and those first those winter side matches that you see again, those will be on at noon tomorrow and they will start on time so make sure that you tune in so you can catch all the action give you a score update on one of these matches one of these 130 matches that started early grant gilbert versus joey chen grant won the break and he also won the first game so he's up one nothing over joey chen looks like he's grabbing his jump cue for this next shot we'll keep you updated on that score the other two matches mike hutchison and joseph kruknale have started mike is up two nothing in that match Andy Hughes and Derek Lurcher are getting started right now, so we'll keep you updated. All right, so Roger kicking, pushing. Pushing, yeah. Pushing to Frank a jack-up, pushing to the treetop. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I play safe on this shot. I jack up a little bit and... I give leave it back to my opponent. <laughs> leave the cue ball. Well, I never want to give somebody a chance to play safe on me if I can help it. If I feel like I can I can get along with a safety, he could cross bank this, cross bank the one into the rail and use the cue ball to come back down behind the 2-4. He could also jack up, which is obviously the, the um, lower percentage shot. 
draw a little bit and freeze the cue ball to the back of the two or the four and send the one ball down table to rails, but then the six could get in the way with that. So we'll see what he decides to do. Well, he just shot, <coughs> and uh, he's left Roger kind of not really much at all. Yeah. i got to remember to look at the right screen. i got two screens. I know. And, uh, <laughs> There's a lot of screens. Yeah. <laughs> See, I would have made him shoot again because you're, you're pushing to a jack up, you know. But it all depends yeah. on how comfortable you are playing as a jacked up player, you know. And he, he hit that safety well. I think Frank may be able to see it. I think he got past that eight a little bit too far. And we're going to switch to a side view to see. And I think, yeah, I think he can see that whole one ball. He even has a chance to bank it in the corner if he wanted to. And the two sitting right in front of the hole. So we'll see if he tries to play safe. It looks like with that stroke, he's trying to bank it, though. If he banks it to the corner, he's got to watch out for the scratch. He banked it, no didn't worries. scratch, didn't make it, and left him safe. I would say that shot worked out really well. Definitely the built-in two-way. I don't know if he's going to kick it from, I think the three might be in the way between the three and the two. That might be in the way of the kick that makes the ball. He might need to go on the opposite side of the eight. We'll see. It looks like he's going to try to hit it. He could draw into the long rail here. Yeah. Draw in. It's the only way to make the ball. Yeah. Draw in with left English. And there's so much traffic that if he does happen to miss it, he's likely to get saved. He may not even need to draw that much. Oh, he just hit it straight. Yep. He just hit it straight. And Three he's ball. He's going to no. get lucky. No, he's not. Yeah. I think I think Frank's going to have to mass A this. I don't think he can see the whole ball. We'll see. We uh, we don't have a view right now. I think it goes right in, uh, Stacy. You think so? Oh, no, he might be crossing it. Yeah. He definitely doesn't have a problem shooting the cross bank. We've seen him shoot a couple of them. But the last one he shot, he scratched. He may. Oh, wow, I thought he made that ball. Yeah, he rattled it. I think he left a wall, though. I think that eight... I don't think he can make it straight in. And it's kind of a tough ball to kick from where he's at, actually. And you can tell he's not happy by the way he slammed the chalk down. He's not excited about this shot. He's getting down low to the table to see if he can uh, see what he can see. And he's I hooked on both sides. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes either. That's no, uh, no. That's a rough ball to hit. Yeah. It's like he's going to have to mass say on either side of the nine. Yeah, to he's, he's going to have to channel Florian Kohler here. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> he needs some. He needs some venom for this shot. He does. Speaking of which, where's Florian? Oh, I hope wow. he comes by. Wow, he made that ball. Wow. He was able to slow roll it. He's got, he might have a shot on the two here. I think he can see it. And if he does, he may be able to get out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's shooting it like he can see it. Now he's got the three in the side past the nine ball. Four is now hanging in the hole. No concern there. He just wants to make sure he doesn't scratch. He came off the side of the seven. Still ended up perfect. He should be, should be fine here. And this would make the score five to four. And still no update on Mike and Joe. Mike is still up two to nothing. And then Joey Chen versus Grant. Score is now one to one. Yeah, he got good. He hit that ball good. Good speed. Good angle. Left himself an angle up. to get back. Yeah. yeah. I always have hair envy with Joey Chin because I can't do my hair in fun colors like that. And oh, his, his yeah. hair is a, a, a mix of a, a, a pink and a, and a red this yeah. weekend. That's it's, a, yeah, always, this weekend. it's always a fun color. You never know what color Joey's no. hair is going to be. No. I'm surprised it's not green. Today it's St. Patty's. I'm just reminding some people to buy raffle tickets. So just a reminder, oh, this, this stream 
is provided by, by Muji. provided by Daniel by way of Muji. Muji was nice enough to donate some cues for him to uh, raffle off to make it possible for him to come stream this. So buy some tickets. Is there a way for people to buy tickets online? No, no, no. We're not doing that. Okay, so come down, yeah, buy some tickets. We want you to come to the Rum Runner. Come yeah. on now. And definitely support mayuchikus.com. Yep. Thank you so much. And uh, Roger take, took that game. Yeah, so it's now 5-4. Pretty Billy, close match. Billy, your, your prediction could still come true, but Frank will have to break Roger's serve because this is Roger's break. So we'll see if he breaks dry, breaks scratches, breaks mixed ball runs out. Who knows? You know, Roger kind of reminds me of the guy – you <laughs> maybe <laughs> this is funny. Uh oh. Okay. I'm getting ready. But I'm he ready might he might not appreciate it. But you remember <laughs> remember like the first okay when you think of viral videos yeah. right? Remember before before videos went viral, there yeah. was one video that got like really popular, and that was the the video of the guy who was talking about his dog, and he and he went like started imitating his dog going. Rah, 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 rah. Uh, yeah. You know, it was like 15 years ago. He also reminds me a little bit of Bill Nye. I the get a little bit of a news. Bill Nye vibe from him, too. Bill Nye. Bill Nye the science guy, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. going to see if I can find that guy. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, times have definitely changed on this things going... <laughs> Things going viral. Oh, yeah. Yep. I definitely remember this one. <laughs> yeah. Eight years ago, this was. That was. Eight years if ago. If this isn't a re upload, you know, it could be a re upload. <laughs> yeah, this, w this was a good one. Um, Google, <laughs> just, just go to YouTube and type in no, no, Psycho no, I'm, Dog. I'm man. dropping it in right now. <laughs> I'm dropping it in right he now. He does. He does. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's, oh, wow. That's Roger Bordley this right is, there, man. That's kind of what he looks like. A <laughs> little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so there is All your, right, there Roger, is your Roger, little bit of. Roger uh, Bordley, we love you, man. A little bit you. of your uh, <laughs> break from break from the action. We only got one match going. We took a minute to, to show you a <laughs> I took clip. I took liberty. Too. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's why we love you. We got an update. Mike is now up three to nothing over Joe, and Grant is now up two to one over Joey. Andy is up two to nothing over Derek. So Derek might be donating some money to the women's event next weekend. That's, yeah, that look, was a good one. <laughs> it looks exactly like him. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. Well, he. It's like he, the first viral video ever. Yeah. You know, the first video on YouTube is just of a guy at a zoo. So really? Somebody videotaped me. It's like a 30 second clip, and it was the first video ever uploaded to YouTube. And it's got, you know, billions of views because it was the first one, but it was nothing special. It was literally just a guy at the zoo. Yeah. Ramin. Ramin Bakhtiari coming by to say hello. How you doing, hello. Buddy? Pretty good. How's it going? You all winning? We're all doing good. Yes. Join me on the loser side. If you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ramin Bakhtiari. We'll be covering it. Don't worry. He's back in action. I'll he's, try to be nice. He's taking about a year off of pool. He's back now playing yeah. pool. Well, he's, you know, he's, he's so focused on Oh, Ben just sent me a picture of, of Bill Nye because he heard me talk he about it. Do you like see Bill the resemblance? Nye. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I like the dog guy, though, better. Uh, yeah, the dog guy is definitely <laughs> funnier. Funnier for sure. So like, this you, think, you think if he wins this match, he'll just go up to Frank and go, <laughs> 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 So he shot that seven well. It was kind of tough. It was froze on the nine ball, and he did leave himself a little bit tough on the nine. But if he makes this, it is Hill Hill. Billy Chin's prediction uh, will be – Incorrect, and <laughs> it'll be Hill Hill. Sorry, Billy, got to you know. Well, you're wrong. I've been rooting well, for hold you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it could still happen. This uh, this doesn't have to happen. No, no, this is not there's a tough a, shot. The a nine's right next to the hole. There's a scratch here. Yeah, that shot was was not um, a dead stroke shot, but you know, 
You can't make all the balls all the time, otherwise you'd be Shane. He hit that one real slow. And I'm going to take a five-minute break to eat really quick. Thank you, Stacy. Really Stacy's going to eat some chow. And I'll be right back. Much love to Stacy also. And we'll be right back with another match. I'll, I'll have that next match coming to you in a second. You're watching POV Fool. We're live at the Rum Runner Lounge in Paradise, Nevada, Las Vegas. The 2018 Andy Mercer Nine Ball Classic. And we want to thank... Mayuchi Q's and JB Cases for stepping up. We also want to thank a very good friend, Joe Klimchak. Come on down to the Rum Runner, get some uh, work done on your Q. If not, take down his number, Joe Klimchak. Uh, Joe's Q Repair. Thanks a lot. I'll be back.